Hi, I'm Leigh Bardugo, the author of Shadow and Bone, Six of Crows, and now I'm bringing you my first graphic novel, Demon in the Wood. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing a few writing tips. Number one, find your process. All that means is learning how you write a book, how you get from an idea to a manuscript you feel good about showing to people. Some people like a detailed outline, some people hate outlining. I like a combination of outlining and improvisation or what some people call plotting and pantsing. I need to know the big moments, the big twists, the big revelations so that I can keep moving through the story. And when I get stuck, I can just put in a placeholder. This is the scene where X, Y, Z happens. And then I move on to another part of the story. Other people like to write chronologically, so again, it's just about finding what works for you and helps you to maintain momentum. And since I mentioned getting stuck, number two, no one outsmarts the first draft. No matter how much you outline or plan, your first draft is still going to be a mess. And that's the way it should be. Don't be afraid of writing the same scene five different ways or using placeholders or having big questions you're not sure how to answer. The first draft is just about telling yourself the story. No one else is gonna see it. So forge bravely ahead. Number three, what about writer's block? What about the times when you don't feel inspired? You're just bumbling around in the story. You can change POVs. If it's not working in third person, switch to first person. Go for a walk or take a bath or have a conversation with one of your characters or even an imaginary editor. When I was writing Shadow and Bone, I didn't have an editor or an agent or really even writer buddies. So I'd go for a walk with my headphones in and have a chat with my imaginary editor and talk about what I was struggling with. Bust out the whiteboard, try imagining the most absurd thing you could write or the most horrific thing you could write. Or take a day or even a few days off. Watch movies, read books, go for ice cream. But the one thing you must not do without time, don't spend it on social media. Number four, get off social media. Here's the thing, if you're one of the rare people who is creatively fed by social, if you feel better after you've been on it and creatively inspired, great, do the thing. But if you're like me and social media makes you feel anxious and tired and just keeps you in a scrolling loop, then you must delete the app, my friend. We can have a talk sometime about social media and publishing, but for now, I'll just say, do whatever protects your creative process. Number five, don't fear the hard days. These may arrive when you're outlining or when you're drafting or when you're revising and they are inevitable. There will be days when the story just unspools for you and you feel like an absolute genius, but there will also be days when you doubt every single thing you're doing. We all go through it, no matter how many books we write. And it's easy to look at those days and think you're doing something wrong or that you're failing when the truth is just that you're trying to do something you've never done before. So of course you're going to have tough days. The way you deal with them is what matters. We live in a world that doesn't reward or celebrate us when we're on the way up. We only get attention and love once we've arrived. And that's a shame because when we're aspiring is when we need it the most. So your job is to make art when no one cares. That's the battle. And every time you get even a few words onto the page, you're winning it. I hope these tips were helpful. If you like them, let me know and I'll post some more. And don't forget to order your copy of Demon in the Wood for a new Grishaverse adventure and a look into the Darkling's past.